We put a robot into the Aloft. We spent a lot of time tuning the interactions all the way through. There's a lot of steps to this delivery interaction. It always starts with the guest realizes that something's available, right? A little sign at the front desk, a little paper tent on your thing saying, hey, you can get stuff if you just call and ask. The way it can happen is that the person at the front desk just types in your room number and says go, right? And that's all they had to do, and the robot just has to navigate to the elevator, call the elevator, wait for it, ride it, get off, and then drive to your room, and then call your room. So your experience in the room is, I called and asked for something, five minutes later my phone rings, and there's an automated voice that says, your delivery's here, with the robot beeping noises, of course. Your delivery's here, go get it, and you hang up, and then you walk uh, to your door, and there's like nothing you can do wrong. This is one of the other things. We designed this interaction so that it's failed proof, right? You're in the room, the only thing that can happen is you didn't answer the phone, right? Uh, because if you answer the phone and you get the delivery, th there's only one thing for you to do, which is to go to your door. And, and there's no other way out of the room, right? So you open the door, and the robot sees the door open, so then it opens its lid. Um, and you know in a very subtle way that the robot was keeping it, whatever it was carrying for you, in a locked compartment, because you saw it open, right? Which is important if you're getting food, right? So then you would, it says, please take your delivery, you take your delivery, um, and then you have a little interaction with it because people want more robot time. That's your robot time, right? And then when you're done interacting, you say go, and then it, it toddles off down to the elevator, um, and you have your stuff.